Well, you got your work cut out for you with all this drilling to do. Well, uh, this hole really sucks. Yeah? It's, what's happening here, I got about 10 foot of broken rock and under the coal seam. So you're shooting well, down just to yeah, the top? It's all, it's, all, it's all caving down in. And it's the bottom 10 foot of the hole that you're actually running the grass to be shot. Right. So you can only go down, how deep are you going then? I'm taking a 32 foot lift off of here. Okay. Then they'll fire that, then the DMAG will come and take it off, and then I'll they'll take, take the coal, right? Yeah. Very much coal left in here has been mined for a while. So how do you work the drill then? Like all the controls, what do they do? <laughs> These are your two main controls. All right. This 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 controls your feet up and down. Okay. All right. This one here is your rotation. All right. All right. To make it go in reverse, you have to pull it back and hit this button on the top. Okay. You don't want to do that. Unless you're changing your steels or something like that there. It's right over there, then, right? And they'll swing it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of the controls are for when you're setting up. Once you get set up, you don't touch none of this stuff. That's, you know, these three right here are for your jack pads to level your machine up. Uh, this is for your dust collector and water. These two are for your tower, your tower lock. That controls the deck hole there. The ones on this side is for the curtain, the carousel. These are your interlocks to lock your character up. Carousel, so turn. These are your power tongs for down on the bottom. Okay, I go in the fields and stuff. I get out of this crooked, broken rock. <laughs> so what about all the gauges? You never really have to watch them, or? Uh, you should. All right. Uh. This is your air pressure gauge. That's your hold back. Your hold back works when these steels weigh two ton a piece. Okay. Wow. So as you add steels, you put two ton of weight onto the machine. Push it down. Push right. it down. So you'll use your hold back to hold back that equalizer. If you drop two ton down there, you're going to destroy your hammer. Right. So every time you add a steel, you have to add your little back pressure to hold it back a little bit. Or it just runs away on you. This is attack for your engine. These gauges over here are for the engine itself. Alright. These four would be what you would use to drill with if you're using them. I don't use them. I I have more experience. I, to, to I know, get, right. Yeah, I know. I, I can watch the steel and know more what's going on than to watch the gauges. How long have you been drilling for, Al? Twenty four years. Now, how do you walk this thing if you got to maneuver it around? Okay, these two controls right here are the ones for locking it. Right. You would, you would switch this lever, see where it says drill set up and tramp. Right. You switch it to tramp, and then it's forward or backward. You know, you push it. Uh, and then that's like the same way you, you steer it. It has two gears, it has a low and a normal. All right, when you're walking with the mask up, right. you want to put a low gear. So it moves slower because the machine jerks. You go or bump the tower. Yeah, yeah. You don't want you don't want that extra weight jerking yeah, around. Flip you around. All right. Uh, there's two sets of controls. The set right here. And the set right here. All right. So long, you can walk it from right here then. Right. Too. If you're going a long distance, you right. switch like over there. Like when I had to walk up over to 4600, it's way out there. The seat swivel. The swivel the seat spins. Right and how long does it take you to drill one hole, depending on if it's what you're hole, I can do it in 15 minutes. I can go 30, 32 feet down in like 15 minutes. If it's, it goes out there where it's solid and not broken, I don't right. have to monkey around with them. Run one pass down and one to clean it, I'm off the hole and move it. It takes about 15 to 18 minutes. And if you're in some real tough stuff? It might take me an hour, an hour and a half. Wow. Like this stuff here, it can't get stuck there. Certain rocks keep falling down on top of me. This is real hard rock here. Yeah. This is 
what's a big problem is the drilling and stuff.